Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Senior Market Analyst. In this video we're going to be taking a look at dollar CAD as price is starting to reject a key level of resistance. So dollar CAD most recently came into the one spot 3125 handle. This was a key level that formed um, all the way back in July of 2022. Um, Recently, the market has found some support down through this area and has since rallied in line with a little bit of a, a CAD weakness um, as well as a bit of a dollar strength. If we go take a look at the US dollar index, it coincides with uh, this rally here that was formed um, most recently. US dollar index now back below 103 spot 50. Something we spoke about this week was the potential for the US dollar to pull back. Now it's approaching that sort of 104 spot 50 highs. Dollar CAD in this instance, if I zoom in, you can see that we come into the one spot 3650 zone where the highs formed back in May 2023 and we saw price reject that and we're starting to pull back down now. So there could be an interesting build up here where if we were to see the dollar start to weaken and we do obviously have dollar data out this week coming up, we've got non-farm payrolls at the end of the week which are forecast to come in lower. So if we do see all this dollar data coming up, come out negative, then there could be a potential for a continuation to the downside here for dollar CAD. Uh, one thing that we can look at for a CAD perspective, if we go take a look at oil, oil now back on the rise again. We've broken through a trend line resistance here on the daily chart. Now that's breached. Price might be heading back to the $82 uh, dollar area, even the 80 four dollar area which are these highs if we trade through these highs and it's going to open the door up so oil prices gaining strength could obviously help cad gain some strength as well um, so that could also push dollar cad prices to the downside here looking at the four hour time frame we are starting to get some good signs that price could be turning here we have a bit of a double top pattern going on price traded for the neckline of that pattern retested it starting to see a bit of a decline here um, ultimately i'd like to see a bit more you can see this supporting area down through here that's an area of interest for me it's around about the one 35 handle price has been rejecting this area quite frequently so that tells me that buyers are happy to get involved in at this area what we want is buyers not to get happy at this area we want them to start exiting those positions which could then help price drive a little bit lower from a averages point of view the 50 and the 200 have crossed there's quite a significant space between that that usually happens in a strong upward trend um so i would like to see maybe these close a little just to get the uh the potential for this to really start turning over if i was to go to an hourly time frame they would be closing together quite nicely you can see that in there but again i would like a little bit more evidence that this is going to start turning over here um and you know one thing we may have to do is wait to see how the weekly chart closes you know if we get a strong weekly bearish close here even a what it's forming at the moment a bit of a inside candle then there could be an opportunity for price to trade lower with the 133 spot 75 being that sort of main target area for us uh, on this daily chart point of view so i think one thing we can do is wait to see how that weekly chart closes and then maybe it could give us some opportunities going into the following week but i just want you to keep an eye on this one there could be some potential further downside to come in this market especially as we do have that non-farm payroll data coming out on friday thanks for watching this video update i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave it a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel to see some more forex trading content and I'll speak to you in the next video.